Now, the reason why we're here, we're gonna go check out some island food. So this is the spot here. And this, yeah. What's your favorite, what's it go to? Oh, funny kick is. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh. Triple threat, hat, how do you like the hat? We're back in Wellington City. <laughs> there you go, guys. Let me take a chunk. So today we're in Porirua again, B Town, and the reason why we're here, I gotta go check out this island food place that's different from the last one I went to. This one's in Cannons Creek, so we're gonna go check it out and stay tuned. North City, and we're on our way to Cannons Creek to check out this. Uh, the spot, island food. It's been a while since we last had some island food. And this shop here, somebody told me it's actually a new shop. I don't know if it's new, but um, it's different from the other place we went to, which is still in B-Town. So just after two in the afternoon, just after two in the Arvo, here in um, Porirua in B Town. So we're going to check out a new food spot, Island Food. Always, mate. We're always here to check out the Island Food in B Town. And I think we're coming up to Mungavin. Am I right? Yep. Mungavin. So have a look around, people. You people watching this probably uh, recognize the, the place. And shout out to those people that used to live in B-Town in the area that are now residing elsewhere. And for all you viewers that's watching us from Australia, we're down here in uh, in B-Town in Porirua. What's the equivalent of, of B-Town to, to Sydney? I'll say more like Mount Druid, eh? Let's say Mount Druid around the Mount Druid area, or even up in Campbelltown. But these places are good places, you know, people sleeping on, on this. One thing for sure, B-Town always have a lot of good food spots. A lot of good, a um, lot of really good um, food spots here in B-Town. Always the place to come and uh, get your island food fix. Great place, great people here in B-Town. So shout out to all the uh, people of B-Town. Yeah, the area. If you're from the area, leave it down in the comment section. I mean, this is North's club, rugby club. Big shout out to uh, JC, Jerry Collins, RIP Uso. Legend of B-Town, Jerry Collins. So big salute out to uh, JC, Jerry Collins. Rest in peace, brother. Rest in love, my Uso. This is where he grew up in, this is the area, and now we just went past the North's Rugby Club that he used to play for. Always good to come out here to Porirua, B-Town, good vibes. Whoa, I just seen a car and went past in the, with the, the flag, with the Samoan flag on it. You know, our people, it's World Cup time, so we're making this video doing the World Cup, Rugby World Cup, so there are a lot of flags around. <laughs> Samoan, Tongan, flags will be all be flying on, you know, in the cars, you know, we do. We always love to rip our peoples. So big ups to uh, Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, all the Pacific Island teams in the World Cup, and big ups to the All Blacks. So, we are here in um, Cannons Creek, so we're gonna go look for this shop out oh, here. Here it is. I think we, we're here in the right spot. And um, big up to my man Curtis for putting me up to this spot here. It's one of his favorite spots, so we'll see, brother. We will see, Uso. What's up, fams? Today I'm down here in Cannons Creek. Porirua here in P-Town. Checking out this island food uh, spot right here. Somebody told me to come and check them out. So tell me, 
how do you because you obviously love live in the area yeah, yeah how do you rate the the food over here oh uh, which one uh the island food island food oh yeah. 10 man yeah 10 yeah yeah, yeah. what's yeah. your favorite well, what's it go to oh bunny kickers yeah yeah definitely always, always bunny kickers yeah that's it what's your name brother uh, george brother okay any shout outs oh no nah, no shout outs man just to myself <laughs> Me, myself and I. that's it yeah well shout out to yourself uh, hey good to see you videoing again yeah. okay haven't okay seen brother. You, haven't, haven't seen you around in a while okay brother yeah. thanks us friendly locals so let's continue let's go check out this uh spot let's go so this is the place here um here in p-town okay a lot of island food here it's all on here so you got supper suey look like uh, pumpkin and um, lamb over there got lamb and peas okay the mamoy some lamb here chicken was in the povi masima what you know about the povi masima okay Pancakes, got taro, green bananas, pancake, pancakes, beer, We've got other goodies here, pa pa pa, the looks of it, the half moon pies, yep, Kiki Philly Phillies. And take a fill of filly here. Must be singer. Hello, Mara. What's the name of the of the shop? Um, it's Fuanga and Tapusina's Kitchen Shop. Okay, there you go, people. That's here in Cannons Creek. So, can we have um? Okay, I just have chop suey. Yeah. And uh, and this. Yeah. Yeah, half of that. So what's that one? It's lamb and, lamb and beans. yeah, lamb and beans and beans, peas and chopped suey. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just those two. So more chopped suey. And okay. Also, okay, with this one, we'll get our two taro, please. Got have the taro. So taro, gotta have taro. Got any coconut cream with the taro? Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, and um, the chicken looks nice. Can we have um, two pieces of those chicken? Barbecue, yeah, barbecue chicken. Yeah, three. Yeah, three. Put three in. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, why not? Or one, just one, one of these. Two turkey tails. Or oh, maybe one, just one. Uh, what's that, the chicken and cabbage? Yes, please. Uh, give, give me the small one. Uh, how many choices? Two? Give me two choices. Just that and, ha and the other half of that, you know. Yeah, and that one, and just... The pumpkin one there, yeah. There's a lamb in there, yeah. Man, it's a lot of food. I wanted luau, but um, they don't have luau today. I think they say tomorrow. So we've had luau in, in other shops, but today we're trying this out. A lot of food to have today. A lot of food to eat. Yeah, looks hectic. So that is us. So it's got some pancake half moon pies there, taro, and all this other food here. Alright, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Yeah. So, there we have it. We've got a lot of food to go eat. We just got our food right here, and we will tell you. It's a bit cold. Usually, we. Ooh, I would, <laughs> I would sit outside here, but it's a bit cold today. So we'll take it home and we'll give you guys a verdict after we 
try this island food. Yeah guys, so we came down here uh, to P-Town, to Porirua out in Cannons Creek to check out this island food uh, spot. And right next door to it, I didn't know my man, Paul's got a, a spot right here. So just dipped in to say hello and um, just came here to say hello and let me show you his, uh, barber, his barber shop. So, yeah. Paul. Style cuts. So, yeah, stop it. And here's the <laughs> man himself, my man. Yeah, shout out to Cos, Cos I can go follow the also. Yeah, tell the people, just give, give the people a, yeah. a plug on, on, on your shop. You can follow us on um, Instagram at Paul underscore the Creek Father and um, on Facebook. Oh, look, you've even got the sign over here. That looks a bit like juice. Is juice been yeah, here? Yeah, that's juice's uh, work. Yeah, juice is here. Yeah. And there's my man's uh, barber shop here. <laughs> so if you're ever in P-Town, you, you want that fade, you know, you want that special P-Town fade, this is, the, this is the spot. This is the spot. Now, my man, we go back years, man. <laughs> my was sicky. <laughs> back in the day. So, nah, it's good. To surprise to see me. So, see the Uso here. It's good to see. I know you. I, I knew you had a shop out here. I didn't know it was right here. Yeah, yeah. But now I know. So, people, make sure you, if you're ever in the P Town area, pull up, support uh, you know your local barber right here in Cannons Creek. For a poor style cuts, come see the Uso here. Yeah, he'll give you. He'll give you what's up. <laughs> Hectic. Yeah. Make it look, you know, he'll, he'll give you that fade that people are going to talk about it for years to come. <laughs> That's it. People will be like, Solly, remember that fade that you got from uh, from the bro back in the day? Man. Well, as I said, there's the, my man himself. So, like I said, I was next door getting food from the, the island shop next door because somebody told me to come and check these guys out. And dropped up on the Uso right here. But... You know, things happen for a reason, and it's a good thing. So, come support your local, you know, local area. P Town's a good place. So, so let's <laughs> we're gonna go eat some food now. It's cold. I mean, I would have sat down on these uh, benches here, but it's too cold. So, we're gonna go back home and eat our food. And shout out to my man Frankie. Triple threat hat. How do you like the hat? Big up Frankie and the crew over in um, the mall in uh, North City Mall in P Town. Thank you for the hat, my man. Okay, just left P Town. It's cold outside, man. <laughs> so we're gonna take the food back home, and we will give you guys a review see what the taste if it if it's up to standard but um looks good can't wait making me hungry so thank you p-town thank you cannons creek and thank you and big ups to you people for always tuning into the channel you know without you people there'll be no cause i can there'll be cause i can't okay no because i can so we we just left uh Porirua now Leaving Porirua, heading back to uh, heading back to town, and man, we're gonna hit traffic. So hopefully the food doesn't get too cold. Here yeah, we're just passing uh, Johnsonville on my right. I'm giving you guys a bit of a tour of Wally. So if you're coming down from the motorway in Wellington, from up north, this is the. This is the road, this is the lanes, this is the motorway going to the city. And we've got new lens on my on my left there. And we're coming down Naranga Gorge. So now we're back in Wally, Wellington City. Harbour there. And City in the foreground. Channel, we are home now. We just got back from uh, P Town from getting our food, island food from P Town from Fuanga and Tapusini's kitchen 
in P-Town, in Portadua, in Cannons Creek. So we are at home right now, and I will show you, got a, quite a bit of food, so it's gonna be a lot of eating today, guys. Check this out. So we'll start on there. Uh, we got German buns, German buns right here. We got the half moon pies. Now this is called half moon pies. Usually comes with pineapple inside. And this is pankekes. So we call this pangikeke. So salmon pancakes. Of course, we've got taro. Taro, it's a root from the taro plant. So it's a staple diet in the Pacific Islands. Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, uh, all the islands, they have taro. Cook Islands and stuff like that. Hawaiians too, I think that Hawaiians have taro. We have sapasui, which is chopped sui. Island sapasui, and then on the side, it's lamb and, uh, and peas. Uh, beans, peas. What do you call that? Peas? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, over here, we have, I think, on one side, pumpkin and lamb. And on the other side, we have chicken and um, cabbage. It's like, looks like, uh, I don't know if it's pok choy or, um, or cabbage, like a silver beet cabbage. Barbecue chicken. So there. We have a turkey, turkey tail. This is this one here. And we got lamb which is like a barbecue lamb, barbecue turkey tail here. So we're gonna start with, I think we'll start with, um, let me just chop a bit of taro. And usually I like my taro, these guys don't have the coconut cream. So, you know, I usually like my taro with coconut cream. With bit of pity, we call it Samoan, bit of pity is coconut cream. Um, but they didn't have it. But actually, I went out there hoping to get a look, oh, you know, Palusami, but they said to come tomorrow, which is the next day. But so I, we basically just grabbed, I just grabbed what was there. What do you reckon? Let's try the chop suey. Let's try the chop suey. So here, chop suey here. Meat, now chop suey got a bit of veggies in it. Mixed veggies. Uh, it's got, I think, beef. I think it is, but we'll, we'll tell you. And on this side we got lamb with peas there. So we'll try the try the supper sui. In Psalm 1 we call this supper sui. Supper sui or chop sui. So food is blessed. So the chop sui. Okay. I see you starts. Nice. Actually, hmm. Hmm. Chop suey is good. Very good. Um, beef is nice. It's not too, you know, not too tough. Because sometimes when you cook this um, type of food, sometimes the, the beef can get a bit tough but this one's nice it's nice very nice taste very good taro with the taro mm. let's get some more of that chop suey happening come on man mm. Mm -hmm. A bit of ginger, garlic, and the chopped sweet of vermicelli. Very nice. Sauce is very, very nice. So, very good. Okay, we'll move on to um, over here. So, I've got this lamb. Um, and peas here. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling that. Peas, I am feeling that. Wow. Mm. 
I tell you what, I like the chop suey, but the lamb and peas, man, it's on another level. Very nice, very tasty. Love that piece and the sauce. I think the sauce, mm, soy sauce or mix of herbs and sauce. Oh wow, great. So far, so good. For me, the taro is a bit dry. Now, I would have loved it if uh, had cho um, coconut cream on it. Still good, but I prefer coconut cream on my taro when I if I have it like this. Now we'll move on to the pumpkin and lamb. Look at this pumpkin. Now, for your information, uh, this is uh, Falai Ma Moe. It's called Falai Ma Moe in Mokingi, which means uh, lamb, fried lamb with, uh, with pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin's good. Let's try the, the lamb with it. Mm. Well, man, I tell you what, food is hectic. The food is hectic, man. This um, the I love I love lamb and, and pumpkin. I love, just like I love the lamb and beef on that one. This one here, yeah, we got some kind of a cabbage, just like um, maybe silver beet and chicken. She said this one is chicken. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. That chicken tastes very good. And the chicken. Man, I tell you what, make sure you guys go down to P Town to Porirua to Cannons Creek and support these guys. Food is actually pretty good. Very good. Try this piece of chicken, uh, barbecue chicken here. Mmm. This is sicky. Hectic. Now for those who never tried turkey tail, you're missing out. I know it's a bit fatty, but man, it's got a lot of flavor. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at that, people. Mm hmm That's good. Very good. Very tasty, you like it. Mm. Nice and soft, flavorsome. Let's cut a little bit of the the lamb. What kind of lamb is this? You know. Maybe. I know you guys are like, man. Your arm will just grab it with your hands. <laughs> there you go. Guys, let me take a chunk. Wow. Very tasty, but you must do some exercise <laughs> after eating this stuff. <laughs> you know, don't overindulge with this food because it's quite rich, but that was nice, quite tasty. Quite really like that, the taste of it. But I, I mean, this kind of food, I don't really have it as much. I don't really eat it as much. Let's cut that uh, half of that German bun, I'll show you exactly. Now, in the German bun, see that? It's got, um, it's got, Coconut, like coconut pop or coconut, what do you call it? Um, in Samoan we call it bingu. Bingu, coconut, you know, inside of the coconut. Now it's got a, it's got a, like syrupy, like it's got inside it's like toffee tasting, like from sugar. And then it's got coconut uh, bingu. Uh, don't know how you call it in, in English, what bingu is in English. Uh, Maybe it's called bingus. I don't know, but it's the inside of the coconut. So that's what it's in here, German bun. So let's try that. 
Mmm. I like that. I love me a good German bun. And this is very, very good. And the moon pie. We're going to get down to the moon pie. And don't forget, people, please go visit, pull up to Fuanga and Tapusini's kitchen in uh, Cannons Creek, Porirua. Go support those guys. They make yummy food. So, sicky up. So, this is a uh, moon pie. So, it's got pineapple in it. See that? Yes. Pineapple. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, not bad. I think I'd give this one probably a 6.5 to a 7 out of 10. Because very good on this um, pies. So that's it for today. Thank you for um, tuning in to the channel today. Uh, support your man by hitting that like button. And leave a comment because it really helps the algorithm. So salute Faftai to the lover. Malo Yamanuia. And I'll see you guys later. Always stay in the boss lane. Cause I can. Thank you.